Twitter is rebranding to X. Let me take you through a very quick and dirty rebranding exercise. I will call it a middle ground between just make me a logo and a full professional branding process. I'll also tell you what I think about the logo that was eventually picked. This one. Here is a quick and dirty way to approach designing logos as a UI designer, not a brand designer. Let's go! I'll walk you through what I did and I'll share some of my thoughts about the rebranding process itself. My point for this contest wasn't really to win, but more to explore something and then show you how these exploration processes work. You can then of course use that when working on your own stuff. Many juniors think of a logo about just a set of simple vector shapes. So I'll make some lines, make some fills and we're done here. And that might be just fine if you're making simple logos for portfolio websites. But if you're working on anything even remotely real, the shape is not gonna be enough. It needs to have meaning. So Twitter is changing its name to X. The first thing to do before you start sketching any X-like shapes is to step back and think. What is X? What does it stand for in the context of Twitter? Here is what I came up with. X marks the spot. It's in the center of the conversation. It's where ideas connect. Like the speech bubbles joining in the middle from all the sides. But good ideas need multiple perspectives. That's why I put my X in an isometric one to show the different levels of depth. The conversations are also multi-layered. There is some serious stuff, there is politics, there is design and there is memes. All in one place. Perspective is crucial to meaningful conversations. X is also a platform, just like Twitter. And the platform is like a podium you can step onto and speak to the world. In this scenario, X is simply a platform to communicate. That's why I went with a more 3D approach here and different height levels, all while keeping the iconic Twitter color that could help bridge the gap in the change so it's less drastic. Later, in phase 2, it can be made more minimal, just black and white. Of course, there is still a lot more to explore here, but this is roughly the approach that we take to logo design at Square Black, but obviously it takes a little longer than an hour in the regular circumstances because that meaning is pretty difficult to nail and it usually takes a long time to get it right. Otherwise, you'll have to rebrand every week or so. The logo that was chosen is pretty interesting because it's also a Unicode character, meaning the design process of the author wasn't to actually draw the lines, but rather pick the right shape from an already created set. The benefit is that you can cut, copy and paste the actual logo character into the conversations, and that makes it a lot easier to use on a daily basis, especially on a text-based platform. It's just a letter, a variant of X. Some will say that it's also a very common shape, so nothing original about it. A lot of graphics design students do explorations exactly like this on their first year. Sure, I believe that this is a little bit missing the point here, because we always assume that making a logo is a lot of hard work, a lot of being hunched over a desk and sketching little lines and then crumbling those little pieces of paper and throwing them in the bin and then over and over and over again repeating the process until you have that aha moment, the eureka and you feel like yeah that's it and then the client wants a lot of changes. But there is no one right process for the job. This process can actually be about finding an existing shape that doesn't belong to anybody and they should probably check that because maybe somebody already claimed that logo. But if not, then you can just take that shape, claim it and add the meaning, add the brand values to it. And the most important part here is about how Twitter or X as the brand will add that meaning to that shape because otherwise it's just gonna be a cool looking set of lines, nothing more. And as a joke, here's how other popular apps would look like with this logo style. Cheers, have a beautiful day.